Hello friends, welcome back to my channel. So now we are going to learn how to analyze this data distribution. Okay, for that we need to go to Power Query Editor and there also we need to enable this column distribution. And why we are enabling this column distribution? To understand the column value distribution. And there you will get distinct values and unique values. So before moving to Power BI, let us first note down this what does it mean by distinct values in the distribution distinct values means how many different values excluded the duplicate values and unique values are how many values occur exactly once now distinct value and unique values will be same if all values are unique so let's understand from the power query editor so already I'm in Power BI desktop and I have opened this Power Query editor. Now, instead of column quality, I'm just clicking on this column distribution. And you can observe 1000 distinct values and 1000 unique values. That means here distinct values and unique values are same because it has all unique values. Whereas for order ID, you can uh, get 479 distinct values but unique values is 2 to 6 so you can observe the difference here that means if I can click on this remove duplicates then it will remove all the duplicates value but I don't want to do that because for each and every order ID there could be multiple products okay so due to that reason I'm not going to clicking on this remove duplicates so for example, for order date also, it has three, seven, three distinct values, one, three, three unique values. So in this way, you can understand how these column values are distributed across this table. Okay. Now, if you want to do that, right click, you can copy this quality matrix. You can copy this value distribution. You can do skip duplicates. So, or remove duplicates or remove empty, uh, empty or remove errors. So, all those things you can do that. Okay. So, now we have understood how column distribution is working in our Power Query editor. Thanks for watching.